<laughs> Who knows what evil lurks in the heart of game? <laughs> the Shadow Snows. Hi, I'm the Shadow Snows, and I'm back with another Let's Compare video. Tonight I'm going to compare the game Bristles on the Commodore 64, the 8-bit Atari computers and the ZX Spectrum. And I'm going to start with the Commodore 64. And yes, I have to press F1 to begin. Didn't I already pin? What? Not quite understanding what this is all about. What's happening? Okay, I can duck. Can I also cover? What am I supposed to do? I see that there's a time limit, but nothing's really happening. Let's try Paul with skill one. Okay, now I can paint. This is another one of those games where you have to be ultra precise. Yes, it is. It really makes for a fun game, doesn't it? Fuck! Awesome! Oh, great! Yeah, this is really fun. I think I did it. I finished the first level. I'm not having a lot of fun with this game. I mean, I like that you don't die, that you just have the time limit. And not also no cheap death. Well, you have cheap death, but... Great! And yeah, this is really fun. Really fun. Yeah, and I'm really looking forward to play this two more times. Yeah, this is really fun.
especially with those controls. I don't think I really have to try longer because the time limit is over and that gladly means that this game is over. No, I'm not going to play this again on the Commodore 64. On to the Atari. Okay, back with the Atari version. That was close. Oh, did not see that. I mean, it looks a little bit worse than the C64 version, but it doesn't play worse. It actually plays a little bit better, I think. Let's see if that's still what I'm thinking in the second level. Oh. Oh shit! Yeah, it's still a quite frustrating game. Oh, shit. Yeah, but I think the Atari version plays a little bit better. But it's not much. But at least I managed to finish the second level. Good thing about that is that I only have to play this game once on the Atari. Oh, why? It makes no sense at all. What's that? So now I can't paint anymore. What happened? This game's just frustrating. It's just frustrating. And why can't I paint anymore? Oh no, I can't paint again. For whatever reason, probably because I picked up the brush. <sighs> this is so frustrating. It's just so frustrating.
No, this is surely not a game for me, even though the Atari version plays a bit better. And what's happening now? This is the rest of my time limit. Yes, it is. No, I'm not liking this. Onto the spectrum. Okay, back with the spectrum version. And this gladly also supports the Kempston joystick. Where's the zero? Is this the zero key? I really hate. That's the zero key. Ah, uh, yes. And again zero. Oh shit, this looks terrible. And it does not put the Kempton joystick. Awesome. Why won't it work with the Capstan Jersey? And I'm pretty sure I did choose the Capstan Jersey, but this game looks really terrible on the spectrum. 3 is for the Kempston joystick, 0 is for play, and again 0 to play. And now it works for some reason, oh shit. This looks borderline unplayable. But actually, it's not, it doesn't play as terrible as it, look, as it looks. Oh shit, this is a terrible... Terrible spectrum port. And has it crashed or... No? No clue what that was supposed to be. Yeah, it's really not a great port. I mean, I, I do actually like some aspects of this compared to the uh, other two versions. But it's still very frustrating. I do like that you don't die from the lifts or elevators. If you are in a country where the spectrum was never released. Still a pretty frustrating one. And the time is over. Yeah. Not going to play this again. Uh, yeah. I think with this game uh, the Atari version is the best. But it, it's not a really good game on, on any of, of the three systems. Yeah, hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.